And we are live. Hello, everybody. Hello, lovely people. Uh, this is Prem Johal. Thanks for joining us today. Um, with me, we have a surprise guest, actually, which was a pleasant surprise even to me until literally a few minutes ago. We have our CEO, Bill Rowell, joining us, William Rowell, as you can see. Um, and also we have on the panel today Claudia Eifert. Claudia is uh, uh, the top affiliate within the company as well as my uh, sponsor. And uh, much of what I have learned about the company is from a combination of uh, William and uh, Bill and uh, Claudia. We also have Bill Wilmot, who many of you have already known from previous Hangouts. And what we're going to do is <clears throat> get straight to the essential discussion. This Hangout is mainly about mining of cryptocurrency. And there's a lot happening in, in this space, generally speaking. There's a lot happening at the higher level where the real serious investment is going in. But there's also happening a lot in the marketing space where all kinds of schemes and uh, uh, new opportunities are cropping up. And um, taking the attention of the public, but we need to find out what is what because the whole industry segment, the whole sector is relatively new in this space. So without further ado, if I may uh, uh, call on uh, our CEO, uh, Bill, to uh, first of all say maybe a line or two about himself uh, to our new viewers. And also, um, uh, why don't you go straight into who we are partnered up with, Bill, and what are we all about right now? So I'll hand it over to Bill now. Thank you. Well, thank you, Prem. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Claudia, for hosting this, uh, this, I think you call it a hangout. I'm not so uh, IT savvy when it comes to that, but great to be here. Um, maybe I should give a bit of a history about myself before I get into some of our strategic partners. Um, I'm Australian, been living in Europe for the last uh, 10, 12 uh, years, in Zurich for two years, and before that, Frankfurt for around about eight to 10 years. And Primarily from 1986, I've been a self-employed entrepreneur, owned, owned and operated four hotels in Melbourne, Australia, sold the last one in 2005, uh, living in, uh, in Europe and founded a Swiss company for the purpose of providing, but providing people around the world, ordinary people just like you and me, savings in pure Swiss certified silver. Primarily, um, you know, this paper stuff, I just, for you also, but pr primarily this paper stuff, whether it's euros or Swiss francs, is it's going to lose, you know, more than 50 power, whether it's the British or any currency. And our monetary is designed uh, financially dependent on our job. So this realization, you know, when I first met a, a banker back in, two, in, uh, in Zurich, Switzerland, really transformed my thinking about wealth, wealth creation, but more importantly, wealth preservation. I never really worried about preservation. I was only ever worried about making a lot of it. And of course, dealing with hotels, I dealt with a lot of cash flow. But he certainly enlightened me, this banker, this bullion banker. I invested a significant amount of energy fund with them. I flew across different parts of the world, walked across oil and gas mines, saw the tangible real wealth that was actually there. But in the end, 2008, I formed the company, the Swiss company, to really provide the money of King's Gold uh, to ordinary people, which has now transitioned, of course, now into money of the 21st century, cryptocurrency. Um, and cryptocurrency is a very broad term uh, in today's world, primarily uh, really stick to the, um, let's say the reserve cryptocurrency in one sense, Bitcoin, and there's multiple reasons why we actually uh, do that. We have two company operations, one, as I said, in Switzerland, founded in 2008, also in Dubai. Um, I'm a licensed uh, gold and uh, precious metal uh, trader, also for diamonds and stones, but I don't touch those. I primarily deal with um, precious metals. And we saw us, we're very st strategic partners uh, we, we actually source our gold, our precious metals, from um, the Argo Horais refinery in Switzerland. Now, this refinery refines approximately 20% of the world's supply. So it's, it's a significant player uh, in, in the world. 
we produce our own, we mint our own gold uh, collectibles as well. And uh, if you did your history on Argo Harai, you'll see that there's only five refineries in the world which are London Bullion Market accredited to actually certify other producers. Now, we're, I'm very grateful that we, we are, you know, they're our strategic partner. They only sell to banks and large financial institutions. I've been dealing with them since 2008. All of your gold and precious metals comes directly from them. I don't get to play with it and touch with it. It's all handled in what we call the London Bullion Market Chain of Integrity. Um, and also, it's an affiliate program. It's what's really key for people today uh, is wealth preservation. But to be quite honest, if I give people some gold I've got here or some silver, you know, it's the extra $500, it's the extra $1,000, it's the extra two or $3,000 a month that can really change people's lives. And with our platform, of course, you know, once they generate some commissions, they can convert them into physical gold and silver and now also into Bitcoin mining, which is a whole other uh, subject, Prem, which I'm sure we're going to touch on throughout this Hangout. Excellent. Thank you, uh, Bill. If I could just bring in Claudia now, um, if you want to say something about yourself, Claudia, and I understand you guys have just come back from a very uh, historic visit um, uh, uh, that's put a lot of excitement into both uh, both of you anyway. Um, if uh, we could have some of some slice of that excitement, please, Claudia, and if you'd like to introduce yourself, thank you. Uh, hi, Prem. Thank you for being here on this call. Yes, so I'm uh, Claudia and I'm uh, living here currently in Germany right now. I um, have lived uh, in Switzerland before that in Panama, Panama. Uh, and I'm just about to actually leave for the whole winter to Vietnam because um, uh, I like so and to take my family there because I can. You know, this is what this industry gives us to allow us to really be able to live where we really like to, uh, like to live. So I, I'm really coming from the traditional background of network marketing. Um, because of course, uh, having worked for a huge company uh, as of corporate, um, so this was a billion dollar company. Um, I met Bill, our founder and CEO in that company back then, and I was a support. Um, and he was, of course, one of the top distributors. And that was before he started the company. So we have a long, long friendship, of course, from that perspective. But I had really experienced both of the worlds. So the worlds as of being inside of a very solid traditional network marketing company as of as well, of course, being uh, myself being becoming a distributor in, in, in a network marketing company. And so um, I'm, uh, I understand and of all the shift right now, which is going on of people going away from product companies, more so into online products. I do understand that. Um, I see a lot of, I follow, of course, things, and I see a lot of what's going on, and I um, uh, certainly do, and I'm super, super excited. I got actually to know Bitcoin um, back in 2009, believe it or not. From the, from the company we partner with, and they just can't believe it. But I, did. but I didn't move to action because um, I was uh, just so much into gold and silver, which is really great, but I think of based on, um, of course, what governments do, that they would actually allow uh, that uh, that movement to happen. I, I just couldn't, uh, there are too many things speaking uh, against it, that the government, you know, they always shut things down. Um, really, to that, that's really one of the things Janice also said is like all oh, going to shut it down because it's just like the internet you know uh, there's so much things going on in the internet i mean you see the whole election now of course uh, wikileaks all the stuff which actually influences i mean there is there is um when we look at all the the, the the arab spring really becomes because or comes because of the social media right and so you can't really think it away anymore and that's the same really with bitcoin and um, so there's a lot of other currencies springing up definitely it's like sort of a penny stock stuff so you speculate you can maybe win some or some of the earlier people, they do win something. Um, and then, of course, uh, they already leaving that other uh, currencies when, you know, the dummy people get in, basically. I mean, this is just pl blunt uh, from saying that's just the way it is. And, and so I was just absolutely amazed when I, when I really got to know Genesis Mining, uh, the people so young and I'm here I am I mean you know you're like oh gosh and, and that's just so normal they're so normal I mean they just um the 
the people who work there, of course, the, the PhDs and degrees and whatever they have, uh, absolutely amazing and very solid people. And, you know, we Germans, we are anyway different because we are very uh, solid, to, to speak. We are not about hype. We don't like hype. We don't like shady things. We always have to question everything. Um, and so having, of course, a company who is established in, um, uh, of course, in München, which is, of course, a huge city and in the best place uh, which you can find uh, at the most expensive in München, having their own uh, licensed fund, um, uh, you know, uh, basically, which is the logos fund um, in Bitcoin, um, uh, getting uh, and Bill is going to touch on that their financial license now. Um, those are things. I mean, you know, you just can't sneak that into Germany. I mean, you know, we are a pretty controlled country. So, um, so, so therefore, I mean, they they just in every term really stand out. Um, and if people and if there are things going on in the internet, well, this is a scam. This is this. This is this or that. Well, they just didn't understand the rules. It's like you get into a penny stock. You think you're going to get Get to rich tomorrow, um, and then the the, the penny stock tr stock drops. Well, with the Bitcoin mining, and Bill will on touch on that. Um, you know, this Bitcoin trend is going to get up and up and up. That's clear. That's a fact. That's the fundamentals of what what we have now. But of course, um, you know, there are so many things involved into that um, in terms of. Um, the more people who network, the bigger the network grows, the more miners you have. Um, there's so many things which play a role um, in that. And we had the which in the early uh, of this year, there was the halving of uh, uh, of the Bitcoin. And so, yeah, some people may got into and bought a contract and, and that contract was not valid anymore because it wasn't profitable because the mining uh, difficulty did raise up so much. So all those things people need to be aware of, and that's what we always talk about it. But as of a trend, um, knowing what I know now, which I didn't know on Saturday uh, or on Sunday, I mean, I'm excited. I, I'm very excited. If you think it's over the movement already and you need to go into other currencies, cryptocurrency, no. I don't think so. I think we are pretty well if we keep on and stucking into that and really working that business. So I'm excited uh, and I'm letting you guys speak now. And I know Bill wants to tell more about, of course, um, really the inside uh, details. But uh, what I can say, of course, um, is, I mean, when we just look at the, the Bitcoin transactions on a daily basis, it's more than 260,000 Bitcoin daily transactions. I mean, this is massive. This is huge. And that's just going to grow. So what do you think is it a good investment i believe it is excellent thank you claudia that was actually very uh, very energetic that's exactly what we were hoping for so um bill if i hand over to you now please but um uh, if you could just you know uh, bring home uh, the idea of um obviously claudia covered why this strategic partnership uh, makes so much sense with genesis but if you could touch on uh, for those that don't know why Genesis? There are so many other. There's, you know, all kinds of names floating around. Everybody seems to say that they have mining as well. They offer it differently. They have a better chip or they have something or the other. So why specifically Genesis? Not just uh, from, from, you know, the fact that they're uh, PhDs, <laughs> but where is your comfort? Because you are coming from an eight-year-old established track record proven almost zero negative report based uh, prestigious uh, uh, standpoint and here is this something where the world is a little skeptical to accept cryptocurrency it is relatively new um, how do you see um, this strategic partner moving along and why specifically genesis if i just hand it back to uh, you bill Okay, thanks, uh, Claudia. Thank you, Prem. It's a great question. You know, first of all, I'm not speaking on behalf of Genesis Mining. I'm not involved with the company. I'm speaking as a director and owner of Swiss Gold Global, who made the initiative, the, the decision to sign up a contract to use their products and services. So why, so why Genesis Mining? Well, first of all, the regulatory controls that we have surrounding us are pretty, are pretty strict. buying and selling gold directly from Argo Horias, uh, we have a, quite a few things 
to me. So we are, I don't know, we, we could not in any way jeopardize ourselves uh, with, let's say, a, 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 wannabe, a wannabe company with no substance or no backbone behind it whatsoever. So cryptocurrencies are no brainer. It wasn't back four or five years ago uh, when I first heard about it. I was a tangible asset guy. I wanted to touch things. Wealth to me was tangible wealth. So suddenly coming in the digital form, I didn't get it. But as I started to research it more and understood there's, a, there's great similarities between Bitcoin. Bitcoin, why Bitcoin? I'm going to cross over. I'm going to move from different areas here and I'll come back into why, to why Genesis. But why Bitcoin uh, compared to the others? Well, it's all based on proof of work. Now, you've been a banker too, Prem, been a, been a banker in uh, uh, for a long time. You understand the, the characteristics of money uh, versus currency. And uh, fiat currency, this stuff that I showed you, does not have a store of value. Um, well, gold has really have a proof of work. You have, you know, it takes about $700 per ounce to extract it from the Earth's crust before it's even refined. There's labor, there's capital, this huge investment. Well, when it comes to the mining of Bitcoin, that's the same deal. It has a proof of work. You've got, you've got huge, um, if I just look at Genesis Mining, the reason why I chose them before we're getting uh, more about the Bitcoin is that they're, they've been established very early. They've been around for four years in a new industry yes the industry is not perfect it's a new industry think back <clears throat> to 95 there's only 15 million users on <clears throat> on the internet today there's three and a half a billion how many mistakes happened with the internet all those years ago trying to, to log in trying to get use these old dial-ups it was not a perfect scenario look how it's transformed the world today this is how i see bitcoin uh, in the cryptocurrency environment as well yes we can criticize it we can pick the pros and cons of it but what i like about bitcoin and what genesis mining loves about bitcoin that they are the number one mining farm farming company for ethereum okay bitcoin they're probably in the top three to four in the world okay they're also transparent there's many people say they have money they have this They'll say it has to be kept secret, it has to be kept that, or it could be a proof of stake. What is a proof of stake? It's not proof of work. Why should I trust something that is a proof of stake? Why should I trust something that's not, that it's not decentralized? There's many, many, many reasons. Bitcoin, in its seven years history, whatever it is, uh, security-wise has not faltered. The exchanges have faltered and been hacked, but Bitcoin in itself uh, has not. Now, of course, it's always easy to look at a foundational concept and, and think we can do it better here and there uh, but you know bitcoins at the moment around 770 i think ethereum was around six or seven dollars when i looked uh the last time they're very very volatile they don't have the volume so when i speak to uh and you, know, you need to have the, vo the, the volume um and claudia mentioned but when i speak to these people at genesis mining about it uh, there's no question about them for, for them that they are bitcoin uh people no question about that yes they mine uh, other other cryptocurrencies there's nothing wrong with being involved with other cryptocurrencies yes you can make some money out of it no question about that you can also lose some money out of it uh as as well um you've got to do your education you've got to do your due, due diligence due diligence into those things there but many people are Listen, I fell into the same situation in the 1990s during the dot-com boom. My brokers would ring me up and say, Bill, put 20, 30, 50 thousand dollars into this dot-com company. I didn't even look at what the company was. I was buying air. And when a bull market is happening, any fool can make some money. No question about that. But you know what? When the market realizations, when the market starts to realize that there's only air there and people start to sell, then there's no buyers left. I can tell you right now, those stocks came crashing to the ground so damn fast, uh, I, I could not retrieve. I still own those shares today and um, there's absolutely zero value. I made some money. In fact, in the end, I, I just came out with an experience. Six years uh, of work in one sense. I see the cryptocurrency world, Prem and Bill, and Claudia, very much the same sort of dynamic. It's nothing wrong with being involved in experiencing other cryptocurrency. There's some great develops, developments out there. Currency as a currency is only one aspect of currency. You've also got the blockchain development. You've also got 
uh, smart contracts and many, many things like this. But everyone wants to have their own. I'm considering having our own cryptocurrency. I even discussed it with people coming on us all the time. Bill, you should set up your own um, cryptocurrency. There's good money to be made in it, this and that. But it's all about what world really need another cryptocurrency. Does the world really need another US dollar or another British pound? I mean, do we need that, these other currencies? I mean, uh, the answer is probably not, unless it's something truly, truly unique and a huge volume and support and the, and the use for merchants, what use would it be? Really, uh, Bitcoin is the one that's there for that. So that is why they are great advocates for Bitcoin. Uh, as I said, they're, they're the largest uh, mining, uh, just probably top three to four mining uh, farms in the world for, for Bitcoin. They've been involved for a long, long, long time. These guys, me and th these guys are serious guys. Yes, you'll read critics about them, this and that. And you know what? If you look for dirt, you'll find dirt. But I can tell you, I've been to their office. Their office is 500 square meters of floor space, 500 square meters of, of floor space in the center of Munich on Marion Platz, which is right in the, it's right in the, the city square of beautiful Munich. You know, they have a profile. They're not hiding. You know who they are. And um, what's exciting moving forward, I can't share everything that they share with me, but I can tell you right now, 2017 is looking very, very exciting. I'm so grateful that we've aligned ourselves with them because it's just beginning. Yes, Claudia spoke about, you know, that they have a license fund. And yes, they do have a regulated license fund for Bitcoin in Germany. A serious deal. They're all... Also, right now, I suppose I can say this, I'm not really authorized to say it, but right now, I believe this quarter of next year, of next year, authorized as an e-money company. Even Zappo does not have uh, an e-money license. So these guys are serious players. Um, they also are, are in deals at the moment, uh, significant deals with uh, some of the, I won't say the country or the, or the actual company, with the largest energy provider of a particular company that produces electricity. Now, this particular uh, electricity company, which is a public uh, listed company, it, you know, has so much excess electricity that they don't use. Um, uh, Genesis Mining. And they're going to be obviously building. Now, this plant, I believe, is going to cost $100 million to develop. Investing in it, and they've already started it. So there's many, many, many things uh, on the table. And um, what else is there? Well, there's lots of things for us as well, but I can't give it out yet because it's it's not unless it's on the table um, and and totally uh, signed off and approved. I, I really can't speak about it. But all I can say is, listen, there's nothing without risk. That's to be sure. We know it's been around for 5,000 years and it has a, has a store of value. In the next 10 years, it's going to have the same uh, store of value. Uh, Bitcoin, I have also believe Bitcoin, because it has the proof of work, these new coins that are flinging out uh, on a daily basis today, um, is also uh, has a store of value. Um, but there's risk. There's regulatory risk. Governments can change things. But you know what? I've done it. And the great part about it with, with, with Genesis Mining and with Swiss Gold Global, you know, you can get you can get your foot in the door. Bitcoin on a daily basis from as little as thirty dollars per month buying the hash power. Dollars I think the contracts go to actually buy uh, from them. And the examples that we give of Swiss Gold Global, this prompt, there's numerous ways that you can make money. I knew we had to bring money of the 21st century and, and bridge the gap with the old economy and those gold. We just had to do it. That was the trend. And you want to create wealth and compounding, which I know that you know that uh, very well, uh, Prem. So that's, that's what we did. Now, is it going to be, you know, is it a perfect environment? Of course not. Of course it's not perfect. But I can tell you what is, what is perfect and what is solid. We are solid. We've been around since 2008. We source our precious metals directly from Argo Horais in Switzerland. And you can do your, your, your check on that. Try and order, does, regardless of what your wealth is, if you've got loaded with millions of dollars, try contacting Argo and try and do an order with them. See, see how you go. Uh, just test, test the water yourself. 
in that respect. We have a pay plan developed in the US by Mark Sheffield, Sheffield Resource Network, who's developed probably, I think there's over 800 pay plans for the top billion dollar companies throughout the world. Our pay plan was legally designed uh, by them. It's a unilevel pay plan, it's very transparent. You know who's behind our company? We don't hide, I'm here. You see a face, we're not gonna run away with your gold and silver. Uh, as I think Prem said at the beginning of the call, you do some research on us, uh, we're pretty quiet. It's probably our mistake, and it's probably my mistake, because we've been pretty quiet because we're a gold company. We don't like to shout that Prem just bought some gold or Cloudy just bought some gold and silver, even though we call her the, the gold queen because she loves to, loves to convert her commissions to gold and silver. I hope she doesn't mind me saying that. But primarily, we don't shout it out too much. But now, because of the affiliate marketing side with Swiss Gold Global, we need to get noise because that's what affiliates want to do. They want to have a profile with our company. So we need to get better at that. Uh, and I think with the modern cryptocurrency and Bitcoin where we're trending, uh, 2017, the focus is going to be very, very much on that. But one thing's for sure, we ship our gold to you, you buy the wholesale prices, you get paid your commissions when you refer it, you pay, get paid good commissions on it. We work with five people. You can certainly build good wealth from teaming up with five people and duplicating that, no question at all. $50 a month, of which 25% is actually silver. So the real cost is about a dollar thirty a day. You own an international business where you can compound your daily pay, not just through affiliate commissions and, and through this, um, your customers and, and uh, your organization buying gold and silver. You can also compound your hash power. Now I know, Cloudy, I think I'm back on and touch on that. I don't know how many days we've been live with our Genesis mining um, contracts uh, in Swiss Gold Global, but. You buy, your, you buy the mining for exactly the same price you'd buy it from Genesis Mining. We're going to subsidize and pay out more commissions. Prem, for example, if he signs up, regardless of which one it is, he's, in that. he's also going to get some gold and silver in there to get started. So he's, he's, already, diverse, he's already diversifying. He's already starting to build. And here he generate some commissions. But all the people have a pay, just going to earn US dollars, which he can convert to gold and silver. He's going to earn Genesis mining contract power to compound his giga hash in mining or terra hash in mining in that sense. And I'll give you a bit of an idea. I think we've been 25 days or 24 days we've been with Genesis mining live in that sense. I think um, but last time I saw Claudia's back office when she showed it on a on a webcast, she was earning eight, seven to eight or nine dollars a day. Now she bought a package. She's been referring it. She's been compounding her hash power. Now you might say, "Boy, eight, eight or nine dollars a day doesn't change my life." You know what? She's only been doing it for twenty-five days. Imagine when she has ten times that. She's doing a hundred dollars a day just from her Bitcoin mining. Hundred dollars a day, three thousand dollars a month is starting to change someone's life, and that doesn't allow for the commissions earned on the gold and silver, it doesn't allow for the other referral fast track commissions and also, of course, the U-level commissions, which is very transparent that we pay out. So to me, it's very, very, very powerful. And um, yes, it takes effort, it takes energy to build wealth. You know, I'm not gonna promise you two, three, five percent per day payouts that ain't gonna happen. I'm not, I'm not gonna take money from Peter to pay Paul. That's not who we are, okay? Uh, we're a real company with a big vision, it's all about sustainability. It's all about you having the belief that this is a good company, that you'd share it with your loved one, that you want your children to do it, that you want your children to inherit the company that you've actually built your organization. That's what we're about. So hopefully I've answered the question, Genesis Money. But all I can say, Prem and Bill and Claudia, um, I'm very excited uh, with these guys. Um, I've been around, as I said, I've been an entrepreneur since 1986. So I've run my companies now a long time and I love business. And I've met a lot of people over the years. I've made mistakes. But you know what? I have a damn good feeling about these guys. They're sharp. They're very smart. They're very humble. It's not the money that motivates these guys anymore. It's the mission. It's the purpose. And when someone's driven by and motivated by the mission and the purpose, you're dealing with a completely different caliber. These guys got into, they were, they were buying Bitcoin within themselves when it was between 
I think it was three, uh, started off between three and ten dollars. They got in very, very early. They got into the others very, I mean, I get, I'll tell one story to give you an idea. He bought himself a car. I've seen his car, one of the directors, uh, founders. I think he paid 200,000 euro for it. He paid, he paid for it, uh, which is a pretty significant car, 200,000 euro for a car. He, he, he invested into one of the, wasn't actually Bitcoin, one of the other uh, cryptocurrencies. I'm not going to say which one it was. It went up 10 times. So he thought he'd buy himself a toy, bought himself a nice toy. Next two weeks, it went up, went up four more times, uh, went up fourfold again. So his car today, he kicks himself. It's probably a million dollar, a million euro car because of the uh, the cryptocurrencies. So, what's the message out of out of this? The message is, Bitcoin is your solid baby. It's been accepted just recently in Switzerland by uh, you probably recall, certainly you'd know it, Prem. Uh, Ernest and Young, the accountancy firm, one of the big four world accountancy firms, are now called it EY. It's just been accepted, and they actually have it. They pay their employees, etc., in Switzerland. We see the Swiss government on the railway stations vending Bitcoin. So the writing's on the wall, and I think it's very important. Um, the older generation, like me, and other people, get engaged with Bitcoin, and you know. The next question would come up, I suppose, should you buy it outright or should you just mine for it? Well, I had this discussion, of course, with, um, uh, with, uh, with, the, with the boys at uh, Genesis Money, and th they primarily do 50-50, diverse, diversify, you know. Now, the, let me just touch on the lifetime contracts here. Now, this lifetime contract, uh, all it means is that there's no maturity date of that contract. As long as the contracts are actually profitable, they'll keep paying out uh, as such. They've got some pretty dynamic, um, they've invested $3 million into a, into a test concept and it, and it comes off, it's like drilling for oil. They've invested $3 million, if they drill and they miss the well, it's blown, they've blown the $3 million. What I like about this concept is they're investing such sort of money because if they pull it off, it's gonna mean higher payouts, it's gonna re mean reduced overheads for the mining. That, that is very, very significant. Where they, they already own much of their own uh, equipment, etc., but much of it's all still uh, outsourced. You buy a computer and these chips and things that come from chip manufacturers, of course, and there's a huge margin in those, and that's a huge cost, and they have a short life. So they, I believe, um, well, looking at it, they, you know, if they achieve it, you know, this, this, whether they do or don't, I don't know, but I'm just giving you a bit of a vision where these guys are going. They've invested a significant amount to develop their own uh, boards and different chips and things like this. So these are serious, serious uh, players. That, that's just what I'd like to share with you. But maybe I've said enough uh, enough on that. But that's I'm just telling you as it is. That's my feeling on it. I'm involved with them. I'll stay involved with them until evidence shows that I should not be. But at the, at the moment, um, it's uh, we're with the right people. No question about that in my mind. Excellent. Thank you very much, Bill. That was actually very good. Um, guys, I'm just saying this to the audience. There should be a chat window, and if there's anything on your mind, uh, Bitcoin specifically, also Genesis-related, something that uh, Bill and Claudia are actually able to answer publicly, uh, because there must be uh, a lot of things that are... Uh, uh, not yet official, so you know there's more stuff coming, uh, more goodies in the bag for us. But uh, do ask your questions if you have anything specific, please. And uh, uh, you know, in the meantime, I'll uh, move on to Claudia again. And uh, Bill Wilmot will just have a look at you know we'll be chatting with you to check uh, you know what what uh, uh, as the questions come through. But uh, Claudia, you mentioned something like. Uh, Obviously, you visited and you were really impressed and, you know, it's a real solid company. And, of course, there's a lot of competitors. Everybody says that their company is better than someone else's company. You'll always find that. Um, but my question really is this. Um, where do you see the idea of Bitcoin mining, which can be added in small, affordable pieces of just $30 each time, and then having the compounding effect, and on top of that being added to you as a referral bonus, the mining itself. I mean, I, when I sat down and thought this through, it actually blew my mind because I can give somebody a bonus. Here's a, here's a pound, here's a British pound, right? I can give this as a bonus to somebody, 
and they can take this from me and spend it and it's gone and it's spent and they would have exchanged it for either some goods or services but what if I give them the ability to generate this over and over and over again it changes that is no longer a bonus that is a bonus factory so when we are given uh, Bitcoin mining power in our back office as a bonus we are receiving a money-making factory effectively a slice of the factory so my question really to Claudia is first of all you mentioned something like Genesis can launch a brand new cryptocurrency in three minutes or something like that but they don't want to because why would you if you could touch on that compared to all these new schemes and new coins that are coming and also where do you see our concept of compoundable Bitcoin mining uh, competing or not competing but actually pretty much the way I see it overshadowing the ref share industry um, you know we clearly we're looking for leaders who can bring in large teams because it needs uh, the network marketing sp uh, space to take the message out there to a larger audience than what little old me is able to and little old uh, Bill Wilmot is able to but thanks to your uh, you know support we are we are getting somewhere now how does Bitcoin mining compared to ref shares and why is Genesis so keen on Bitcoin and why don't they just launch another currency of their own Claudia if you don't mind please thank you uh, sure Prem my pleasure well that's one of the questions I did actually ask um, the guys over there um, I mean I ask of course many questions you know you got to if you have a chance with being in a room with them you want to ask a lot as many questions as you can um, that's what they said basically they could if they wanted to they could launch it in, uh, in in three minutes they could just create one with the knowledge of course they have I mean they are the experts right but why would they do that well because um, what what would be the sense again you need to have a huge um, an ever evolving network to make make the coin uh, worth something and so uh, the Bitcoin network is already there it's expanding you have companies I mean look at Richard Branson he just hosted this I think it was in the spring when he did on Necker Island host the huge uh, blockchain sort of uh, event what it was there with some absolutely great amazing um, people from the industry um, so you have I mean, like, not, not, I mean, I think we're talking already more than a billion dollar of investments going into uh, Bitcoin related companies, which either use or a service provider or a wallet or whatever around Bitcoin. So, the, 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 actually, the boy Bitcoin. So, that is enough transactions, again, as I said, on a, a daily transactions of 260,000 and growing um, in Bitcoin. Um, more and more servers, as you know, of course, now Amazon for another application. Um, we have, I mean, so, so, so many uh, companies, well-known companies getting involved. Um, why would it make sense to start a new coin um, which uh, is not accepted, is not wildly known, nobody knows, you can make maybe a, a quick buck if you have like a, whatever, a few thousand people or even a hundred thousand people in your network, but the size of the Bitcoin, what Bitcoin is moving, well, it's not going to reach because it's simply like that. It's like, uh, imagine l launching you now yourself a new internet. Well, we already have an internet. <laughs> we have a great internet, <laughs> right? So you launch a new internet, um, and you call it Bram's Internet, um, and you have a you have a great, of course, network, and you have a lot of people who follow you, and, and so sure people would go onto it. But but how is the chance, the possibility that the Bram Net Internet is going to be as grow as big as the internet? I mean, <laughs> honestly speaking, you know, it's not the case. And so they said, well, no, we are not going to do that. Why would we? Um, so uh, basically that, that was the answer. What do I see to other companies or comparing to other companies who, who say, well, they are this and that and whatever. Uh, one of the things came up with companies, for example, who offer you a greater return in mining. Um, uh, for ex I mean, you know, which, which I did ask that question because we know, you and I, we know, we don't want to name, mention names, but there are companies who say they give a greater return. Well, again, ask yourself the question, 
how can this be? If the mining difficulty is at such, um, and if uh, there need to be hardware, there need to be cooling, and uh, Genesis already, as such a large scale company, has the best providers where they get the cheapest hardware, where they have the best, of course, in terms of the cheapest um, electricity, uh, so that it doesn't cost them so much, yet they can't give you a greater return, yet another company who doesn't have the power, as Genesis says, um, you know, they can give you more. I mean, this is again like Peter robs Paul, <laughs> <laughs> or Peter gets in Paul to get to, you know, it's just not worth And so those guys, they don't even worry about those companies. I mean, we know it as a one big, one of one big company, which we all know out there, which is a decentralized coin, not going to mention, but it's just move. It's like making the network marketing crazy right now. They're worried about, they laugh about it. I mean, they are laughed about. Um, so in, in the real Bitcoin space, in the real Bitcoin space, you know, um, not the MLM space or whatever, the real Bitcoin space really fine with, with, with what I heard and what I learned with that. Um, and so in comparison to those other companies who launched their own coin, you know what, again, um, here we have a real chance, okay? The, 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 the little person, the new beginners has a real chance. They refer one person, they already make money, you know? Um, they refer the second person, they already make money. Um, in, in those companies where uh, they launch this new coin um, and then, of course, they all make all this hype in this new coin, this new coin maybe rises, but honestly, that's seriously speaking, who's going to make the big buck? A few people who then, when the coin did rise a little bit, move away and jump to the next coin. And from there, where do they go? They go to the next coin and they go to the next coin. And they're going to make money, but all the others are going to miss out because it's like penny stock, stocks, they will not be worth anymore. And, and so why would I even waste my time for that. Um, I'm my, my chat box is full here from people from Latin America who want to get on board with us. Um, you know, like massive, massive people now, they all want, you know, I'm just translating like my the last weeks, like crazily doing things for, for, the, for the Spanish market because they, they, they just are crazy about it because for them it's real use um, to use our platform because you have all those Mexican workers working in America, Venezuelans, Argentinians from working in Europe, working everywhere. And for them, this is a platform as well to send money to their loved ones. Um, so this is not just a uh, whatever coin, uh, no name coin, no coin, um, which they can't do. Do anything. So they actually can work, really work with this platform, um, and and but also their money is not losing the value, and they can send it, and they are saving sixty percent in the fees. So I think you know when the world gets, and I haven't really started. I've just started with a few people. I, I don't. You will hardly see me. I'm just going to be, you know, crazy, you know, promoting that because. But I'm, you know, we we just starting because this is just so so exciting and a real deal and a really chance to help people and not just a few people who are going to get rich because they are really great marketers and the, all the others they're scammed and and I just don't like to be scammed. Um, I I really it goes against my personality. Sorry, that's me. <laughs> Excellent. That was that was very well explained. Thank you, Claudia. That's just what I wanted to hear, actually, to be personally. But uh, yes, Bill, uh, do you want to come in? Yeah. If you don't, if you don't. Oh, sorry. Uh, Bill. <laughs> Which one do you want? Bill, Bill one or Bill two. Uh, I just wanted to comment on Claudia's comment just briefly. Uh, I think it's it's an important point regarding these other cryptocurrencies. First of all, yes, there's money to be made on them. There's no question about that. You know. If you look at Bitcoin, if you look at solid companies, they they create their they create their wealth and value through through the use and through through the volatility because of its uh, because of its use of throughout the world. Many of these newer coins that are coming on are hyped up. It takes me back to the 1990s with with, with the stocks. You remember this, Prem? You know, the, invest into this and they speak the price up. Now, what happens, of course, is is that you know, while they're speaking the price up, it gets to a certain part, they start selling it while the other people are buying in. And they've made 10 times, 15, 20 times uh, their money. Much of their stock exchange insider training regulations changed after it. Now, when it comes to cryptocurrency, there's no such regulations, of course. 
Uh, but when, I, when I'm looking at a lot of these new currencies that, that are coming to the marketplace based on proof of stake, I mean, what is a proof of stake? I mean, if, if I can make my own cryptocurrency in 10 or 15 minutes, where is the, go, go and try and mine a, a gram of gold. Go and try and mine a Bitcoin. Substantial resources and investment to do that. That's why it has intrinsic value. Proof of stake doesn't have that. And the only rewards that people who have the most coins gets paid the most back out as well. You know, so, and I, I, you know, from looking and observing the marketplace, and I'll tell you straight, many of these coins, the price is spoken up. The price is spoken up, and then you'll see all of a sudden they might get the two cents, might start off on half of a cent or less than that, gets up to two and a half cents, three cents, and bingo, the price comes back down. Who was selling? You know, the ones that got in uh, less price. Now, that's that's how I see it. So be cautious out there. I'm not telling you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. You're all adults here. You want to invest in it and, and put a bit of money in. Maybe you make a, a quick buck out of it. Okay, we've got to put bread and butter on the table. So be it. But think sustainability. Find that is solid. And you can play a bit on the side as well if you like. If you want to speculate and gamble, or you can do the same deal. Uh, I just wanted to really say that. And the other thing is it comes to... Um, you know, you look at the uh, the money invested in from uh, Silicon Valley, etc. I think Claudia mentioned over a billion dollars gone into that. You know, these you know accountancy firms, governments throughout the world, they're actually supporting Bitcoin in, in that respect. They're not they're not supporting these other uh, currencies that are out there. I mean, the blockchain technology and smart contract is very, very, very exciting. But that's a complete other service which is going to add more value again to these things. So I really just wanted to uh, just touch on that. So thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Bill. That uh, really uh, sort of sums it up. Um, yes, I mean, I I had an experience with someone online who said uh, that they posted saying, you know, everybody, all our members should jump in and do every bit of effort to buy more of our own coin and to prop it up. And I just commented saying, isn't that insider trading? That's exactly what uh, why people go to jail for insider trading when uh, those who know about a certain stock buy it all up to push the price up in the market and when others get in they sell at a higher price and everybody else is sat on a loss so that's called insider dealing it's a criminal offense in the United Kingdom anyway and many other countries also is not what you're doing with your closed loop cryptocurrency if you're telling everybody this is the one to buy and you're pumping up the price when there is actually no outside use there is no utility there is no functionality and nobody asked you to come up with one except as a money-making opportunity for a few people who are in early and will exit at some point and you know there's a lot of reputational risk uh, at stake you know and having said that um, you know I'd like to hand over to Bill Wilmot this time first of all Bill if there are any questions please and also Bill if if you'd like to add your um, way of looking at it yeah what you've seen revenue sharing companies you've seen a lot happen in this space this year has been very eventful in terms of um, uh, 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 a major rev shares facing freezing of their funds and everything else so mr. Wilmot if I can uh, hand it over to you and if you just put in your two cents and also let us know if there are any questions please uh, yeah sure from thank you um, yeah I mean I suppose my, my view is that I look at Bitcoin perhaps a whale amongst minnows most of the time. I don't know if that analogy is correct, but uh, that's my my sense of what's going on here. And I, you know, I can't, I'm not experienced enough to say, well, how big the next one is compared to the next one. But that's the way I look at these things. And obviously, I've been aware of Bitcoin for some time. I was a bit, I guess, risk averse and didn't jump in from day one like many of us. Uh, but as I've seen the audience using it grow and it continues to grow every single day, I can see a, a, a real, you know, a real um, long-term view for it. And when we talk about the amount of the people taking interest in the blockchain technology, central banks, you know, governments, institutions, you know, people don't just throw millions of dollars at things. Well, they probably do, but certainly in this case, I, I think there's certainly cottoned onto the fact that this is here to stay. And yes, there may be other cryptocurrencies out there that might play the same game, but they've got a lot, a lot of catching up to do. And it's, whatever you do in life, it's really hard to reach the momentum that Bitcoin has. Even if you, you know, really network it well, really give it a lot of 
air time, it's still going to take a, a massive task to catch up. Um, so I hope my analogy, guys, is a correct one <laughs> on that point. I mean, I'm excited because I've heard of a company who are developing an app for a Bitcoin. And if that comes through, that app, and makes it, you know, it allows us as consumers to use Bitcoin at point of sale, then that's a massive move forward. Um, I think it was, it was a Norwegian bank actually published uh, an article recently, a major Norwegian bank, and they have an app already in Norway, which I think is used around 20% of the population. Yeah. And they're talking about tapping into the Bitcoin technology and using that, I think, at point of sale again, or making it more, more available. So that's a very interesting development. Um, in terms of the questions coming through, we've got a, a mixture of questions. Some are more generic based and some are more Bitcoin based. And I know we have people in this call who know zip about Bitcoin, basically. So it's the first time perhaps hearing what Bitcoin is about. They probably haven't got it yet. Um, but I'm just going to pick out one or two questions here. Um, I've got a chat called Philip Moore. Um, so I'm just going to squint to the screen. Give me a second. <laughs> Uh, he's saying, if I join as a good member, uh, eventually I would be in the profit margin of the platinum. Oh, gold member, he means gold member. So he's talking about joining as a gold member, and eventually he would be in the position to upgrade to platinum and beyond if he just keeps compounding his profits. Uh, trusting that the mining goes as we all hope. So, yeah, I mean, I think what he's trying to play through there is that he starts out on a gold package. He can simply uh, take the profits from his mining, if you like, and his other income streams throughout the business, and use those to purchase more contracts, and therefore, at other point in the future, be able to upgrade, upgrade to platinum and above. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, it's a great question. Uh, thank you, Philip. First of all, if you joined up with the gold package, the gold package is an annual package. You receive 500 giga hash in Bitcoin mining, you receive $150 in precious metals, Swiss certified gold or silver. Now, there's, to be honest with you, there's no need for you to upgrade to a platinum package. You can buy more hash power at the best price just on the gold package. That's, that's the truth of it. You can buy more gold and silver uh, at the best price on the gold package. There's no question to that. The only reason you would actually upgrade to be, you know, uh, for, if you've bought the, the gold package, which is an annual package, you would upgrade for a number of reasons. Primarily, when you build your organization to a stage where you need to qualify for the ambassador leadership bonuses, then you would certainly want to actually upgrade because people like Claudia could actually you know, tell you that as soon as you, read plat as soon as you reach the rank of, platinum, sorry, of ambassador, you receive uh, what they call a 2% override on your entire organization to unlimited depth. This was designed by Mike Sheffield from the Sheffield Resource Network. Okay, so it works. It adds about 33% extra commissions to your uh, check instantly as soon as you qualify for that. So, but you wouldn't have to do that now if you didn't want to. Okay, so what I'm suggesting to you is you could build up your organization, you could actually buy it, you could compound your hash power, you could you can convert your commissions to gold and silver and buy more hash power if you want. Uh, and eventually, when you start to build an organization which you, you would qualify uh, for the ambassador leadership bonuses, then you could buy the ambassador package or the platinum uh, package. Uh, you would do that, but you're not, you don't necessarily have to um, if you bought the gold package. So I want to be clear there. If you buy the silver package, which is a $249 plus $50 per month, or you buy the gold package, um, you know, you can buy, you're buying, you can buy more gold, more hash power, exactly the same price um as anyone on on the platinum package so let's not be confused there you, you would transition we have many people coming in on the ambassador and platinum package because they get they get it they want to have more gold more silver they want to have more hash power to start off with and they're positioning their their, their five uh leaders um in that in their position but not everyone's in the position to do that so you know there's different ways you can get engaged but just just be just know that you're not forced to upgrade uh, just to be able to increase your hash power or your gold and silver holding if I touched on if I answered that correctly for you Bill yeah I think so I think what the main, the main thing you're say, saying they really if is that you've designed it to be flexible and affordable depending on your budget so you don't have to feel left out of the actual system so it gives you everyone a, a great choice in what they want to do take going forward okay obviously this call is a you know give it an update on Genesis and some of the fundamentals in terms of the 
the value they offer. I mean, to people who are brand new to Bitcoin, and, and I don't know if we have the time to cover this in detail, but they can be put that haven't got a clear what it is, Bill. So how would you explain to someone who's a complete layman who doesn't understand what Bitcoin is? Well, that's one reason why they should be engaged. It's pretty much low risk. They can join up as a free customer and buy a Bitcoin mining for $30. There's, not gonna, there's no risk there whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. To be quite honest, it's, it's, it really, let's, let's really look at this. If you, the best way to learn something is to get engaged. And you yeah. can get engaged for $30. Really, there's no risk there. Bitcoin is a cryptographic currency. It's really, if you look at the life cycle, we can go into a big discussion. We're now going into monetary history, and Prem probably, uh, he'd love to get into this as well. But if you look at the life cycle of money, money does have a life cycle. Once upon a time, the British pound was the reserve currency of the world. Once upon a time. From 1944, the Bretton Woods became the US dollar. Now, if you go back in the history of money, his money actually started off in free market money, going back a long, long, long time ago, thousands of years ago. It became the money of, it was derived from trading. Different devolves of carpenter and I produced wood or whatever of as a lumberman if i produce wood for example and uh you were a butcher and uh you, you provided the meat it was difficult to trade that so out of the free market in one sense came actually money the first started off with gold maybe five thousand years ago but eventually what happens is government starts to get involved in the free market and they start to regulate and eventually they monopolize the money and they take control of the money and, and what we have today is this paper stuff which since 1971 is backed by nothing other than air than belief. And I really believe, and what actually happens to this of this cycle of money, it eventually comes back where it comes back to the people's money, where people lose confidence, they lose trust in the paper currency, in the fiat currency, because it keeps losing so much buying power. So what happens is a revolution in one sense causes. Now, I believe maybe, maybe it is, maybe it's not, but I believe maybe this cryptocurrency is playing in back to decentralize money it's the people's money it's a free market money now where it goes i don't know i'm sure in time the governments will want to regulate and get their hands on it as well it's just part of the natural cycle but i think the trend where it is right now i think it's very very important to be engaged to have an understanding of it because you and your children are certainly going to be in a world where this is going to, uh, to going to be around it's uh the way it's actually being engineered I don't think that the governments could ever stop it, to be quite honest, uh, in, in that respect. I think there's always going to be a market there for it. So I think we should befriend the trend, and there's a very easy way to get engaged in it through, through Bitcoin mining with Swiss Gold Global. I mean, it's, it's primarily no risk there. I just want to touch on another point. So you brought up the rev share companies. Um, and I'm not here to blow out anyone's candles. But to me, just you know, common sense, if this was a sustainable, a sustainable business model, Wall Street would be all over it. No question about that. Okay? It's just not sustainable. They're taking money from poor old Jane to pay, to pay out Tim and, and so on. Now, I had a, a gentleman who's the owner of a, of a rev share company. He's with me in Zurich, Switzerland. He wanted to actually have gold for his company. Now, I realized, I mean, I'm not going to tell you which one it was. Um, Pretty significant company, very strong in Latin America. He's a good guy. I enjoyed meeting him. I learned a lot about the ref share companies because I always avoided, avoided them. So I learned a lot about it. But this guy was cashed up. Drives a Lamborghini or something, or Ferrari or something, I think. I think he does. And um, he was he was certainly cashed up and he wanted to have uh, our, our, our goal for his concept. I wouldn't deal with him because I knew the, the business model is not sustainable. It's unjust. Just like the monetary system that we live on today is unjust, I believe those business models, okay, for some people you can make a quick buck out of it. While it's working, you can certainly get paid out. But eventually, eventually, it must succumb and must implode. And I think, if I'm correct, I think this year, 2000, what it be, 2016 has been a pretty big year for many of those companies actually imploding and having many issues with the regulatory authorities and there's a reason for that so that's 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 just my my uh my feelings on i wouldn't personally recommend them because i don't believe direct i don't consciously i don't think it's good to recommend things that you know if you know really what it is yes it's nice and easy you can push a button you make a few dollars each day whatever it might be and a lot of money each day but sustainability to me uh 
it's not there. So I would never ever compare a share revenue company what we have here. That's <laughs> that's that's like comparing I don't know a Trabant with all these German car to a, maybe a Mercedes Benz or something. I really don't know, but there's just no comparison to be quite honest. A legitimate bona fide company comparing it to uh, a revenue share. Now maybe I'm a bit extreme, but that's my that's my true belief uh, about it. Okay, Bill. Thanks very much for that. Thanks, Bill. Um, I'm just going to quickly wrap up a little bit, actually, about this before we move on to a final question, uh, Bill. Um, so, to put it very straightforward, you can join for free with us, test the quality and the price of the gold and silver, no matter how small or how much you would like. Um, you can uh, have access to the back office, look at the pricing, look at the product, um, and then compare it with whatever you want, knowing that we are pretty much top dogs in this uh, this space. Um, and it's not just anything. It's, it's actually very, very high caliber, very high quality product from a very secure location, and you get a lot of bells and whistles attached to the program altogether. So that's the first instance. Second instance is if you're not sure about what crypto mining is, you want to test waters, obviously the smallest package will yield so little a month, it'll take you a very long time to recover your money. It'll take you more than a couple of years uh, to recover $30 back. But it's your foot into the door. However, the larger packages generate more aggressively. And as they generate more aggressively, the bits that you get, you're able to reinvest and compound it. And what you're buying is literally a slice of the equipment and the infrastructure so therefore you're not waiting for another person to join and add money to the system which then gets paid out to you and this is where there's a fundamental break between a rev share model uh, and this system which is a genuine manufacturing of bitcoin using real hardware and expertise which is intellectual capital which uh, you will not be able to generate overnight. It requires a lot of uh, brains to work behind it. So, Prem, yeah. may I just correct you one point there? Sure, sure. It's actually relative. If you buy a $30 contract in Bitcoin mining, which gives you 200 giga hash, it's going to take probably about 400. You're going to get about 5% return, 4 or 5% return on your money. Um, you get your money back in about, uh, it's less than 400 days. No, it's not a number of years. The, the return is quite exceptional. For example, uh, 200 giga hash at the moment is probably going to give you a bit over um, $2 a month. Now, if it's costing you $30 to buy the contract, you know, you, you've already picked up $24, $25 at the end of the year. So uh, in the percentage terms, return on the investment is pretty significant uh, in that respect. In fact, I had someone from Australia, a lady who's been with us a long time, buying gold and silver with us a long time, and even have savings accounts for her grandchildren. She wanted to set up the same question she did the mathematics she wanted to put fifty dollars uh, each in for her grandchildren into some bitcoin money so they could learn and get involved in crypto mining so she gave me some numbers and she did numbers that shows it's going to be an 84 percent return uh on her on her uh investment and when we did the numbers so what what i did was and, the, and and i encouraged the people on this call to do your research as well there's many many third party bitcoin calculators so it's not us telling you, it's not Genesis Mining telling you what you're going to get paid. Just put the gigahash mining power that you're actually buying into these external third-party calculators. One of them is called Ola's Comp or Ola's Camp or something. It's a funny word. Anyway, and I did that with this particular lady. Generating, whatever it generates, you've got to take about 50% off for the obviously for the farm into so. If you put in 15 terahash, for example, let's say it shows uh, $12 a day or a $14 a day payment, just just in general, just halve that for the overheads for the for the for the mining farms and things like that. You might be left with um, I mean, seven or eight, nine dollars a day or something like that. Multiply that by 365, and that's based on the situation with the difficulty rate that Claudia uh, spoke about, and also, of course, the Bitcoin price at that given moment. So so it does change. So whether it's a $30 contract or whether it's a $1,950 contract, the return on investment relatively uh, is, is the same relative to the amount of money you've actually purchased. That's my understanding to it, Prem. 
Okay, thank you, Bill. That that uh, I stand corrected because what what happens is obviously you're only putting in thirty, so the payment looks so small um, that you think, well, when on earth am I going to actually recover this? You know that it's a psychological thing, I believe, because the same thing multiplied ten times will give you the yield ten times on a proportionate basis. So, uh, absolutely accept that point, no problem. I just wanted to say that <clears throat> uh, even for testing waters, free accounts are available, get in, have a play around, and test your waters with Genesis Mining. Uh, uh, taste our uh, product, which is the best uh, uh, gold and silver, I believe. I personally, in my experience, I believe, on the planet, um, uh, and without much argument, to be honest. Um, but on the other hand, you know, um, the reason I mentioned the revenue sharing model is, and I know exactly the, the ref share you're talking about, Bill, I believe that has folded already. It folded a few months back. So uh, he may still well, be I'm driving. Sure, I'm sure he's still driving his, uh, his Ferrari. Others might be, but he will be. Yeah, th no, that's the whole point. I mean, he's, he's, he's driving the Ferrari or Lamborghini, but the rest are crying. And one of the top leaders actually went ahead and launched his own ref share. I know the person. Um, so, you know, but this is what happens. There are people looking for this ref share model and there are people joining it over and over again, even when they get burnt. And the reason I mentioned this is because uh, compared to regular traditional network marketing, the revenue sharing model presented convenience or rather um, uh, um, an avenue where higher skill levels of marketing and knowing the tricks and the trade of the trade and the expertise required, the you know SEO and video making and all this, it took away a lot of that effort and hard work and offered an easy cash flow solution. Uh, and actually, a lot of people went for it knowing that it might fall somewhere down the line, but hoping that in the meantime it would be a reasonable, sustainable income. So. I would not say that the people joining revenue sharing industries are necessarily fundamentally or in, intrinsically scammers, but they enter the system knowing that, okay, well, this might just work. It is relatively easy. And, you know, a lot of people have a lot of uh, uh, situations where they just cannot do the kind of uh, effort for marketing that is normally required to build up a, a network marketing business, which has notoriously been very difficult. I would agree with you there very, very much, uh, Prem, and I just want to say we're not here to judge what the people do. God bless them. I mean, we, we understand people want to be able to, to earn some money, put some money on the table. Um, but just be cautious what you get yourself engaged in and what you're actually referring because, um, you know, it, can come, it does come back time and energy put into it. In the end, you've lost it and you're starting off all over again. Diversification is a good thing. If I buy... In the com into a company, that's not the only thing I do. Maybe I want to play a little bit here and there, but I don't treat it so so serious or put so much time. But I know I'm going to put my time and energy into something that is actually sustainable. Yes, it means I have to have a new level of understanding and training and coaching, but the payoff in the long term in two to three years uh, is long term passive uh, residual income uh, that you know is going to be there and not uh, and not disappear. So. That's all I'd like to say, but I, I'm certainly not judging the people who get engaged to uh, with them because I, I, I can get that. Excellent. Thank you, Bill. That, that was very, very helpful. Thank you and very gracious of you. Also, um, you know, the reason I mentioned the whole idea is because um, you have to click ads or perform a task on a daily basis when it comes to revenue sharing. With Bitcoin mining, there's none of that. Entry level is similar at $30. Um, the lifetime contract, obviously, provided they don't get voided or nullified for various reasons that are external to uh, uh, to us. You know, we don't cause them to be voided. It is the the market that uh, makes the contract void. But aside from that, it's a low entry level, just like a rev share. It has the compounding effect, just like a rev share. It pays you bonuses, just like a rev share. So on a like-for-like -like basis, I see no reason why the whole two million strong members of uh, Traffic Monsoon, for instance, shouldn't be with us. Um, I, I see that happening or s somewhere in the future taking off because we are able to offer 
a type of bonus built into along with Genesis Mining that I haven't seen yet, frankly, anywhere else uh, that provides mining at cost, but a bonus structure attached to it that gives you additional mining power. So I do believe we have a phenomenal uh, a, a business model along with the compounding. What I uh, worked out very recently is that if, <clears throat> if any of my directs were to constantly buy more mining power and compound, each time they do that, I compound without even trying because I keep getting 5% of the mining power added to me and I'm not even doing anything. So this is basically, if you are introducing a, a bunch of people, you're almost forced to compound without necessarily asking for it. So I'm not even doing anything and I'm already feeling the effect of a compounding coming on. It's a little slow in the beginning, obviously on the uptake, but you know, I, I see it changing uh, very, very quickly. Just really quickly, before we end this call, another give it another five minutes. Uh, Mr. Wilmot, do we have any other pertinent questions or can we call it today? Yes, we do actually. Um, there's two very different questions actually. Um, I'm just gonna phrase this one very carefully. Um, we were talking earlier regarding uh, Genesis Mining and we carefully explained that we're using the, the, the best available equipment to do the mining. So there are obviously other people out there doing mining as a company on the behalf of their members, and they are claiming certain returns, which may perhaps be greater than what the ones we're claiming, yeah, <laughs> for Genesis. So the question is that this person asking a question is name me a company, I don't know the company, who claim to make more than we do. So I suppose it comes back to Claudia's point really is that look, if we're looking at the best company in the market, and Genesis is the most powerful company with the most collateral and the highest spec machines, how is it possible? I think I guess that's answering the question in a roundabout way, really. <laughs> Claudia, would you like to answer that? Like, how is it possible that someone can pay more? You dropped you dropped out a bit there, I think, uh, Bill. Sorry, repeat the question. Basically, we've got a lady asking a question about a another Bitcoin mining solution, yeah, and they are claiming perhaps better returns than we might, yeah? And I, I think Claudia mentioned earlier that, look, here's Genesis Mining in the market. They're a big player. They've got a lot of collateral behind them, they're capital, capital, well capitalized, and they're using the highest spec machines available. So it's not really possible to to beat the returns we're offering. That's my understanding, yeah? Yeah. So why would you go anywhere else? Well, I, I would like to know, in one sense, you've got to compare apples of apples. I mean, and yeah. that is, that is okay, how much giga hash are you, have, do you have a deployment? What does it cost for the giga hash? And how much is it paying out on the blockchain on a daily basis purely from the Bitcoin mining? Then you're comparing apples of apples and, you, and, and, and just like, listen, I'm in gold business. I've been a long time. You know, I, we offer our gold and silver to people all around the world at very, very uh, affordable, affordable price. But maybe there's going to be someone out there that sells at a, a, a bit better price than what we than what we do. I doubt there'd be many out there because there's not much margin in gold. I know the overheads and expenses of operation. I don't think there could be much in it. I mean, I know uh, Genesis Mining pretty well, and we've been associated with them for many, many months. We've only been live with them 25 days or something uh, with the contracts. That, that is possible. I'm not going to say whether it's uh, true or false, but I'd just like to know um, what giga hash is has been deployed, and what has been paid out based on that giga hash in the in the Bitcoin blockchain wallet. Then you know exactly. Then you yeah. can then you no, can compare. Actually, yeah. You know? well, I don't have those numbers available right now clearly, but I, I can go back and speak to the person concerned. And it goes sure. further than that too. So, sorry, Bill. It goes further than that. That's just one aspect. When you're Swiss Gold Global, you've got many areas that you can compound. Prem spoke about compounding your hash power, which is very, very beneficial where you increase your daily payout. You can compound your gold and silver own, uh, ownership by sharing, of course, with, the, with our affiliate program. You can compound your returns there with our Unilevel uh, affiliate uh, uh, program. So with Swiss Gold Global, we're not just hash power and Bitcoin. We have many other areas as well that you can actually benefit uh, from. It's, it's diversified company. Gold and silver been around for 5,000 years, Bitcoin money of the 21st century. And I know that we are with someone, a group of people who are absolutely dynamic. And yes, there may be things that are going to pop up here and there. I'm absolutely sure because it's just a new industry. Okay, but these guys are at the forefront and um, and I'm just looking so forward to uh to uh, you know, probably around about February, March next year, there's going to be some exciting things happening. So, thank you.
Okay, that's really, really helpful. Thanks for clarifying that. Um, I've got a lot to learn, I can see. <laughs> that's great. Bill, 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 can I just throw something in? You may. Of course you can. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, uh, what, what, uh, I think the question was more so uh, from the lady because um, we know, of course, the, 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 what I was touching on the point was um, was um, basically a company, which we, of course we don't want to mention a name, um, but they guarantee you um, a certain um, a certain payout or whatsoever and of course i did actually spoke with that with with myself with jacob um uh, jacob one of the uh, genesis uh, of course co-founders um and, and we looked at it and mathematically of course uh, breaking it down and of course it's just not possible and so therefore you got to ask yourself and and they, the, really what he said is you know it's just the people who come in um in the beginning of course and then more people coming in and ever more people coming in and so with the newest people coming in they pay out the the uh, the people who are in longer that's just the way it works until of course eventually and um, it does fold so um so that's pretty much the answer to that okay thanks very much okay, sorry. Uh, I, I, I would actually like... invite prem and maybe and bill next time i'm in munich maybe uh next year now maybe they'd like to join us in munich and um then you oh, can see let, let, <laughs> then, at your expense of course um <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> um but uh, that would be that would be the great possibility to um you know to see the company for yourself. We can sit down ourselves. We haven't met in person either as yet, so it's going to be great to catch up. Yeah, yeah that'd be good. And, and you'll be able to look the the, uh, the owners of this company uh, squarely in the eye and ask whatever questions you want because um I think you'll be pretty impressed by them. Uh, I was. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. I'll keep you posted when I'll be back there next. But I know I'm going to be back there um, early next year. Okay, cool. Uh, there's one really simple last question, hopefully for you, Bill. Uh, Judy Tucker, um, she's asking about landing pages and autoresponders for our back office, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Judy. Uh, he, hear your name a lot. Great, to, uh, great to have you on the call, and thank you for all that you do and the support that you actually, great leadership that you actually give. I'm really uh, grateful for that. Yes, we're behind on our landing pages and things because all of our engineers are so busy still finishing off our crypto 2.0. So we're a couple of months behind our schedule. Um, in January, uh, from about this third week on, I'll be meeting with the engineering team and primarily the focus is going to be on this particular subject because we're very, very conscious that we need to have this. But primarily, you know, we still haven't finished the crypto 2.0. You can buy the mining by the end of this particular year. You'll be able to use Bitcoin to buy gold and silver, etc. Uh, then we've got to be able to finish off where you can buy Bitcoin on our website and a few other things we need to finish off as well. We need to finish off the home page as well. There's more pages to be added there um, and the social media marketing. And of course, the landing pages that you mentioned about, we have some there, we have some ideas, but we have to implement them. So. The short answer is we haven't gotten to it yet because our team is so busy uh, with the uh, working with the exchanges and the authorities finishing off the engineering for our for our crypto sub. But we will get there. So thank you for your understanding and patience. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. I think uh, I think we'll call it a day actually because it's uh, it's been well over an hour and a quarter. So uh, I'd like to just thank you uh, uh, to uh, Bill Raoul, Bill Wilmot, and especially Claudia. Thank you, um, Claudia. I'd mentioned this to Claudia. I said, you know, please can you transfer some of your enthusiasm on this hangout because I spoke privately with Claudia. Obviously, we spoke on a number of things. We named names of companies. Uh, some that offer more mining or better packages, uh, others that are new cryptocurrencies that are launched or being launched or whatever. We've covered this whole ground, and the reality is the proof is always in the pudding. And uh, the same happens with gold. Uh, you know, you take it back to a bullion dealer, and unless um, you know, um, unless they have proof of purchase, uh, uh, they're going to have to melt it down to prove that it's not gold-plated tungsten steel. Um, so the proof is in the pudding. You need to really look at what you're getting into. Um, and I, I did wonder at, at the beginning, I'm like, is Genesis the right company? Because here you've got this eight-year-old track record. Is it worth the uh, reputational risk and the alignment for a company uh, to get into a strategic partnership like that? And of course, Bill answered that perfectly well because there is a degree of comfort. We are in the right space. We are dealing with the right. We are not Bitcoin salespeople. Nobody owns Bitcoin. 
So unlike other cryptocurrencies where people become loyal to that specific cryptocurrency within a closed environment, we, we are not into Bitcoin sales. We are into the principle of the matter of moving paper money into something that has utility and 21st century application through Bitcoin. And at the same time, that has a store of value and a 5,000 year track record such as precious metals. Combine the two and you get everything with us right this moment. You have so many things going on and all of it relates to just one commodity and that's money. So you've got conservative, traditional to ultra aggressive, modern. The whole spectrum of money is covered from physical, tangible to digital, futuristic. The whole spectrum is covered in terms of uh, revenue in terms of uh, savings you have the whole spectrum covered you can go from ultra safe to uh, massively fast spinning if that's what you choose and you know uh, the referral program is so fantastic I am going to increasingly take this business offline because if you live in an area where I do uh, you know there are plenty of neighbors who should be looking at this instead of wasting and rotting their money in a bank that doesn't even pay interest, we can offer 25 or 30 times in some cases more in terms of earnings than their bank accounts are currently offering them. And this, you know, the UK has 700 billion British pound wasting away in banks and that to in, uh, in institutions that are built on debt, which can collapse any time. And if they begin to collapse, there is no guarantee and nobody can get no government can guarantee the stability of the banking sector we have a debt free company and we have an ultra modern cash rich cash flow positive strategic partnership with genesis mining and that's what puts us i believe at the very top of the business of network marketing so um i'd like to thank the panel again and uh, thanks everybody for watching please comment when the video is recorded and uh, available for you to share please do share it use it in your own marketing attempts and uh, love you all and take care and good night everybody bye bye thank you have a wonderful christmas thank you good night